In this video, I'll be reviewing the LCMD microserver, which is a compact high-performance server designed for setting up your own private cloud in a home lab environment. For full disclosure, LCMD contacted me and provided the microserver for this review, but the feedback and opinions shared in this video are my own. As of the recording of this video, LCMD has a successful Kickstarter campaign running with deliveries of the microserver and a separate AI pod to begin in November of 2025. For some company background, LCMD, which stands for Lazy Cat Microserver Discovery, is based out of Hong Kong and has strong ties to China. The company's philosophy is to have technology work in the background so people can live and create more freely in the foreground, and I can see that philosophy reflected in the experience I get with the microserver. While the microserver I received is a pre-production unit, if the production version ships with the same packaging, it's quite impressive and probably the best packaging of any product I've received. The microserver and its accessories comes in an octagon-shaped box with a hard plastic cover over the components, ensuring everything is well protected during shipping. Inside the box, along with the microserver, you'll find a power adapter with an outlet converter, an ethernet cable, and a set of instructions and informational cards. The microserver itself is a 115 millimeter or approximately 4.5 inch cube with an indicator light on the front of the unit. On the back, you'll find a power port, an HDMI port, two USB Type-C ports, a status light, and an Ethernet port. There are also three USB 3.0 Type-A ports, a headphone jack, and separate function and power buttons. Internally, the unit I received came with a 13 Gen Intel Core i5 13,500H processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, which is upgradable to 64 gigabytes, and two Western Digital Black SN7100 NVMe drives, with a 500 gigabyte drive used as the system drive and a two terabyte drive for data. The microserver supports a total storage capacity of 96 terabytes if you fully populate all available bays. I also disassembled the unit to see how easy it would be to add additional drives, and while the process isn't trivial, it's definitely doable. Just make sure to keep track of the screws that you take off, as you'll need to disassemble the microserver quite a bit to populate all the bays. The initial setup is straightforward. You'll need to download and install the LCMD application for your platform. Then connect the LCMD microserver to your network and power it on. Launch the LCMD application and bind to the microserver. Then you'll need to go through the initialization process by entering in the settings that are requested. You can also enable disk encryption if you would like. Follow the remaining instructions, and when the setup is complete, you'll be logged into the LCMD microserver for the first time. The LCMD microserver app is also easy to navigate with options in the left-hand column of the interface. A few apps are pre-installed from the official apps listing from the App Store, and as of this recording, there are over 2,000 apps available, which is quite impressive. Under Settings, you'll find additional menu options for tasks like changing your password, checking hardware details, and adding users. The options are clearly labeled, so you'll find it simple to navigate. There's also a menu in the bottom left corner of the UI that lets you add additional LCMD microservers and configure client settings as well. At the time of this review, there wasn't anything under Messages, 
and the help menu included a list of troubleshooting suggestions. I did notice that the help center and customer service sections display content in Chinese, but if your browser supports translations, you can still access some useful guides from the help center. As for apps, there are a lot to explore. A few that I tested worked really well. One standout is the Cloud Drive application, which is one of the pre-installed official apps. It allows you to remotely mount network shares, monitor local storage, and sync files from your computer to the microserver. I also like that you can enable SMB and Time Machine backups, and that file snapshots are enabled by default, allowing you to revert to previous versions of files if needed. Other apps were trickier to figure out and required some trial and error to get working. For example, Pydeo Cells installed without any issues, but I couldn't determine the correct database, user, and password to use without checking the app's details, which I happened to come across. Also, if I weren't familiar with how Docker Compose.yaml files are structured, I wouldn't have been able to figure out what hostname to use. It would be great if this information were filled in automatically or if clear instructions were provided. I understand though that with over 2000 apps in the App Store, it's difficult to provide seamless integration with all of them. Overall, I think the LCMD microserver is a well-designed and well-packaged system that could use polish on the software side, especially when it comes to app usability and configuration. The hardware provides excellent performance with a modern hybrid mobile CPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, and fast NVMe drives. The system management software works well and is generally easy to navigate, but the available apps are hit or miss in terms of ease of setup and usability. I'd love to see the App Store offerings just work out of the box or at least include better documentation. Even better would be if LCMD introduced a more integrated Docker-based application that lets users customize their app installation experience. I'll definitely be following the LCMD microserver project and will continue to work with the unit I have but I'd love to hear what you think about it. Leave a comment below and share your thoughts. Also, if you like this review, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and let me know what other hardware you'd like to see reviewed next. Thanks so much for watching.